What's going on guys, Audio here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Footies Casemiro card to review and he is an objective card, a card that you can get for free just by grinding out the game and look at the stats on the card. He's got 90 pace with 90 dribbling, 91 shooting, 95 defending, 93 passing and 96 physicals. He's a 6 foot 1 player which means that reach in that midfield is going to be really nice to work with. He's got high high work rates as well with 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot now the chem style it really does depend on how you want to use the card so for me personally i've gone for a shadow chem style because i want to max out his pace so i can rush out the players as quick as possible but i also want to give him the def extra defending stats as well i understand his defending stats are very good and you don't really need to upgrade it but i honestly feel like plus fours and obviously one plus five is definitely going to make a difference in his defending ability now you could go for the hunter chem style if you feel like you want to upgrade his finishing ability but i honestly feel like casemiro is going to be one of those players that's not really going to get inside the box as often as you like let's say so him having 99 shot power and 99 long shots for me personally is enough i don't feel like i need to go ahead and give him the extra finish uh, extra finishing stats yes it will be nice but i don't think it's necessary for me personally i would rather just have him be an absolute beast on defense now the other chem style you could possibly go for is the engine chem style the thing about going for the engine chem style, like, yes, it does upgrade his dribbling stats, which is really nice, especially looking at those dribbling stats. It looks good, but for a six foot one player, you maybe want it to be a little bit better. So, yes, the engine chem style for the dribbling looks very solid. It's just the pace, 95 acceleration, 95 sprint speed is good, but 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed is so much better. So, yeah, the pace, maxed out, shooting ability looks unreal. Has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he does not. Passing ability looks out of this world. Dribbling ability, as I said, it looks good for a six for one player, but it doesn't look like anything insane. His defending stats are just stupidly good, and the physical stats look unreal as well. Now, the links Brazilian, Real Madrid. He isn't a premium footies. But he doesn't need to be. He gets a hype link with Vinny. He gets a strong link with Bale. He gets a strong link. No, not strong link. Sorry, a hyper link with Lodi. He gets a hyper link with Adair Militao. You get a strong link with Mendy as well. The links on Casemiro are out of this world. Now positions. Centre mid and CDM position is where I'm going to be playing him today. Let's get into the review and let's see how good Furtis Casemiro is going to be. Get that ball, Lodi. There you go. Casemiro, quick skill move. Why not? That came off really quickly. Look at the pace as well. Go for a few touches there. And that is a nice pass over to Barella. He's looking for a pass in the middle. I'm going to just try to hold Casemiro here, trying to cover that middle completely. Is he going to go out wide? He does. He tries to hit us with that Berber spin. But I select Casemiro at a perfect time, allowing me to switch to him and just go in for that tackle. Let's accelerate past him. There you go. Nice little touch as well. Just keep it going. Should we go for it? This is so far out. But it wasn't a bad shot. Can we get a goal? Barella is on the end of it. Very good shot. Yes, it hit the crossbar, but it was so far out. I didn't even think he was going to go on target or even challenge the keeper. He's going to play that line. He does. I reckon he's going to try to play into the middle, though, eventually. There you go, Casemiro. Nice tackle. He puts Barella onto the ground as well. Nice little pass in the gap there. Just keep it going. Good run. Really good run. And that's a very good pass. Is he on side? He is on side. Let's just give that into the middle to Casemiro here. There you go. Just go forward a little bit. Go for a few turns. Left stick dribbling there. Seemed pretty nice. Nice step over as well. Near post. I red timed it. I red timed it. He even moved the keeper as well. So if I didn't time it at all, it probably would have gone in. I need a passing option. Oh, I see Casemiro edge of the box. Unfortunately, though, couldn't get it to him. Hold on. Casemiro, there you go. He used a bit of his strength there to push off Zidane. It was a good tackle as well. I like how he got out to the out to the ball quickly. It's just, yeah, that long shot. It's a little bit poor. If he had the finesse shot trait, honestly, I feel like that's that's flying. I see Bale on the other side. I'm going to go for it. Casemiro, can you play a perfect pass? Yes, he can. The curve on that was insane as well. He's going to pass through the middle. He does. Casemiro, just stay on him. Transition speed. I'll be honest, it does feel a little bit heavy. Like, it doesn't feel as smooth as I thought it was going to feel. He's going to give that into Pele. He does. Casemiro, can you put in a good tackle? He doesn't do it the first time, but he does definitely do it the second time. Let's go for a through ball there because I see he's making a bit of movement going forward. Let's go for that over top through ball. Please. Oh, no way. Is it Yashin? I think it is. No way Yashin uh, 
just kind of stops there when he's right next to the ball. The pass was perfect. Is he going to try to run off kickoff? I reckon he is. There you go, Casemiro. Just getting in front of Pele. Nice tackle as well. Good turn. Honestly, his dribbling ability is better than what I thought it was going to be. Like, he doesn't feel too bad on a ball at all. I don't really feel like you need the engine chem style. But I guess if you want him to even feel better on the ball, then yeah, the engine chem style is the way to go. His line is so deep. I think I need to go for a long shot. See if we can maybe create the angle here. Go for a few turns. He's not really coming towards me. I might as well go ahead and do it. He's really sitting back. He's waiting for that pass into the striker. But look at Casemiro's long shots coming to play. Is he going to continue running up? Oh, he goes straight through the middle. Casemiro puts him onto the ground for a second. I thought that was a foul. But did you see his transition? Like, he was quick at going uh, into the space. It's just, it took him a while to turn his body. Is he going to give it through the gap? He does. Casemiro get onto him. No, I thought he was going to go straight down. Oh, okay, we got the, the interception there. I did not think he was going to pass it there. I thought he was going to pass to the person up. I think Bale's making a run on the other side. Let's go for it. What a pass. That is perfect. Again, his passing ability is crazy good. And I'm looking for a pass in the middle here. But there's so many players inside the box. I don't think... I don't think I had an open space there. And we end up losing a ball. Is he going to give it down? He does. Casemiro just transition over. Is he going to pass up? He doesn't. He tried to do a skill move through the space there. Couldn't get that one. Casemiro, there you go. He puts in some very strong tackles. That's something I'm noticing. Like, he usually puts the plate onto the ground. I've seen that, like, two or three times already. I like his movement going forward. Like, he isn't super aggressive, as you guys clearly can see there. Like, he comes forward. He tries to give me that passing option, which is all I want him to do. Because I know if I get him into the position to go for a long shot, it's most likely going to fly in. We've took, like, I think it's three long shots now. And two of them have gone right into the side net. Chip over into the middle. Casemiro, hold him off. There you go. Using that strength just to calm down the play there. Shield off the player and just take that ball easily on his chest. And I'm going to go for this pass. Fail. Onside. What a pass. Near post. No. What a save. He got like a fingertip to that. I'm going to go near post here. See if we can maybe get a goal with Casemiro with his head. It wasn't a bad header. The thing is, right, he's got good heading accuracy and his jumping ability is good as well and he's also a six foot one player so i feel like headers definitely will go in with him time to time it's just i also do feel like if you're matching up against players like chiellini varan yeah he's probably not going to be winning a header over those players he's going to pass it down 100 i'm going to trust in casemiro here he covered that gap really quickly and kunku had no shot like if he continued running there i think casemiro just easily catches up like, look at the dribbling with Casemiro. I'm telling you guys, it's not bad at all. Like, you don't need an engine chem style. It's just, if you personally feel like you don't, you know, like the dribbling, then yeah, okay. Engine chem style will be the way to go for you. He's going to pass that up. He does Casemiro. Nice interception. Possession based as well. The ball literally stuck to his feet. And I also do like how he instantly went into, like, a shielding animation just to protect the ball. He hasn't brought out a keeper. So, let's go near post to Casemiro. I see Benzema there. I don't see really any tall players there. And Casemiro scores himself a header. What a header. He's looking for that pass into Nkunku. Casemiro with a nice interception and a good slide tackle as well. That's a good pass. I'm going to go for that though. That's unreal. He got out to the player so quickly. The slide tackle as well was very good. It's just we get unlucky not to come out with a ball there. But look at there, Miletao. It's going for a slide tackle. Why not? Casemiro, beautiful. Straight up beautiful. Wraps his leg. Or wraps his foot, let's say, around the ball and just collects it. That's the animation I wanted. He's going to throw all that. He does throw all that. Luckily, it took a bounce off Chiellini. And look at that for strength. He puts the player onto the ground just by shielding him off. That's a good run from Casemiro as well. Going forward there with his high attacking work rate. What a touch and what a pass. Is he onside? He is onside. Look at him on the edge of the box. Go on. Smack it. Green timed. No, I thought that was going to fly in bottom corner. That looked like an incredible shot. I want to see if I can maybe get a shot of Casemiro inside the box rather than just shooting outside the box. Let's test out the shooting inside the box. Oh my, that was, that was slightly inside the box, right? It wasn't outside. As far as I know, it wasn't. 
What a finish! Crossbar down! So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing four games of Casemiro and we scored four goals in those four games and we also came out with a single assist as well. The first thing I want to speak about is the dribbling ability. The dribbling ability on this card was good and it definitely was better than what I expected it to be but it isn't anything top tier. It isn't up to the level of someone like Footy So. It isn't up to the level of someone like Team of the Season Bellingham and it definitely isn't up to the level of someone like Barella, Fernand Mendy or even Rafa. But yeah, you guys saw there were certain touches he was taking and certain turns that he was uh, doing that did look good. But then there was other ones that just felt a little bit, a little bit off. So if you want to improve uh, the dribbling ability with the engine chem style, yeah, go ahead and do so. Just know though, you are missing out on that 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed, which was simply insane on this card. The passing ability, incredible. Honestly, one of the best passes I have seen in this game. He is a joke when it comes down to the passing. The shooting ability, the long shots were very good. I just feel like if he had though the finesse shot trait, yeah, those long shots would go in way more often because we did score a few today, but there was like two that ended up hitting the crossbar so i feel like if he had that finesse or trait it would have gone right into the side netting but yeah the shooting ability definitely is top tier on this card and as i said with the pace the pace is insane you guys saw how fast he was to get out to players the transition speed definitely was good in a lot of occasions but there definitely was certain situations that he did feel like he was swaying a little bit like he was going a bit too heavy to one side and it wasn't the quickest to go to the other side so yeah that is definitely something you do notice time to time it doesn't happen every time there was a lot of situations that he felt very good it's just there was a few times that it did happen but other than that the pace is amazing the defending ability incredible so good at going into tackles interceptions is insane as well the thing about his tackling ability is he goes in very aggressively and it's because of that 97 aggression he has got like honestly he puts the players onto the ground and the physicals yeah you saw that strength you saw how many times he was holding off players it was really nice to see in that cdm position now he is a free card a card that you can get just by grinding out the game is he worth the grind? Is he worth the time to put into? 100%. Where does he go in the midfielder's tier list? He's a hard one, you know, because yes, he dribb his dribbling ability wasn't anything top tier. And yes, he had a little bit of a sway to him time to time with that transition. But he is an incredible CDM. As a centre mid, he definitely isn't as good as, you know, he definitely isn't, isn't as good as like Barella, Mendy, Rafinha. He definitely isn't as good as like team of the season, Bellingham in that centre mid position. But as a CDM... Yeah, he is insane. So as a CDM, I am going to put him in the S tier. But as a centre mid, I am going to put him into the, into the A plus tier. I just don't think he's anything crazy as a centre mid. But as a CDM, yeah, he is simply insane. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.